start again. Just on the right hand side, what was working for you all for your creative space? Um, I thought Alex and I were, were doing a good job of, um, you know, one, we worked on this in, in training this week, just not being in the same line with each other. So whether, you know, I was outside, he was inside or vice versa. And um, I thought that caused them some, some, some problems. And um, no, I, I feel like I have a really good relationship with, with Alex. He, he, you know, played a couple of really good balls in behind that started those goals. And, um, you know, I, I like playing on the, on the right with him. The, the other question, Raul Diaz, when, he, when he's when he's on his own like that, what what does that do to the team? Uh, yeah, it's 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 super helpful. We're we're. Um, you know, he's an incredible goal scorer. Uh, we're really fortunate to have him. You see that with both goals today, just clean finishes for him. Um, and yeah, when he's, when he's, you know, on fire like that, it's so helpful for, for the team to, to start a game like that and have the confidence that your, 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 your number nine is going to score goals, which he, he always does. Um, we're, we're super fortunate to, to have him and obviously had a great game. Back to back wins here. Do you feel like the, the tide has turned a bit from the previous results? Yeah, I hope so. We still got a lot of, you know, a lot of work to do, but we've had a couple good games, especially this one. I thought we were really, really good in, in a lot of um, areas and um, you know like we said we put ourselves in a bit of a hole so we still have a ton of work to do i, I said it before this game we got to treat each game like a final and, and try to get three points in each game so um yeah it's uh you know we're playing much better which is good and, and we just got to keep going josh and danny uh seemed like they sort of had a i don't want to say a coming out party but they a lot of pressure was put on them uh coming into this one playing against a, a pressing team like that seemed like they came through uh flying colors what would you make of their performance and, and how much does that help you guys to know that uh, the midfield is sort of taken care of. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. They 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 both have had um, you know really good games, and today is especially. Um, I thought they were both really really good. Um, you know, winning a lot of tackles um, against a, a really good team and um, helping to link. Um, you know, obviously between the, the back line and us uh, up front. I, I thought you know for for a couple younger guys, they they, they didn't play like it. They play with a, a lot of confidence and. Um, they're both really, really good players, and they work incredibly hard for for the team. So, I'm um, super proud of both of them. Um, you know, uh, just you know, they need to keep keep going, keep working hard. But they're they're doing awesome. How much does it help uh, you to just be able to stay high and, and Albert and Nico to all not have to feel like you have to drop back into the midfield to to get the ball and and even really to to defend a whole lot? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, definitely still have my defensive responsibilities and um, a game part part of my game that I'm continuing to work on you know is, is pressing and um, working hard de defensively um, obviously that's a that's a team team thing and I thought we did that really well tonight um, but yeah I think it kind of puts everyone in their best positions Nico and Albert in between the lines that they, they so good on the ball can, can connect things and it allows me to stay wider and, and um, you know a little bit higher and and uh, and, and getting behind and like I said I kind of we, we worked this week with Alex as well maybe him going inside sometimes allowing me to stay higher and, and and use what I feel like is, is my best strength, of, of course, is trying to get in behind teams. So I think it puts everyone in, in their best best spots. There's a lot of games going on around the league that obviously affect you guys in terms of playoff positioning and how far you are off the red line. Do you, do you pay attention at all to games like Portland, Minnesota, and others? Yeah, definitely. You know, we, we, we pay attention to that. First and foremost, it's about us, though. So every game, um, like, you know, going into this game, we, we weren't paying attention to those those results or, or thinking about that at all. It's what we can do to get the three points. And now, yeah, of course, we'll, we'll you know, watch those games, pay attention, um, hope the results go our way. But, you know, it's all we can do now. Uh, what's in our control is, is focusing on us and, um, you know, what we can do to, to get three points in each game. Actually, going back to the two guys. Last couple for Jordan, guys. Yeah. Going back to uh, Tensio and also Leiva, is there, did you just talk about the ability to read the game? I mean, you talked about the tackles and also coming back. Is that, I mean, just talk about the ability to read the game. Yeah, they did for 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 younger guys. I think they read the game really well, both going forward and and defensively. I thought they did such a good job, kind of screening the back line today, um, working really hard defensively, being selfless for for the team. But a lot of that is coming from from reading the game and being in the right position. So I think they're both really smart players, and and they're doing doing really well. Jordan, coach talked about um, a change in the practice instead uh, of volume. 40% uh, less and more intense. How's that been and how do you think that's transferred over to the games the yeah, last couple of weeks? Yeah, good. Obviously, it's been a long season for us with, with Champions League and we, we've played a lot of games. So, you know, guys' legs at this point in the season, we, we, you have to be, be careful and, and manage, manage uh, 
manage guys coming down to, to the end so it's a little bit more maybe shorter trainings at a, at a more intense level to to keep the level high but to keep guys fresh as well do you feel fresher though and i mean have you been on notice a difference or is it not to say something uh, yeah i mean I, I i think so and and it's a lot of like i said just taking care of your, your body. We've we played a ton of games this year, and um, you know it's important coming out of the end of the season that everyone's, everyone's fresh, but I think the new training has, has definitely been helpful. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. No worries.